Hi, I'm Brent Stafford, political columnist and executive producer at RegulatorWatch.com. Religion and politics, it's a rule they should never mix. But for the NDP, the Green Party and fellow travelers at Vancouver City Hall, this rule has proven difficult to follow. Politicians and bureaucrats on the left often mix energy policy with hysteria and religiosity over what they believe is man-made catastrophic climate change. This belief animates planning and regulations in the city of Vancouver and would as well in Victoria if British Columbians decide to elect the Greens or the NDP. Either choice would be a disaster for the province. Look no further than what Gregor Robertson is doing in the city of Vancouver with his renewable city strategy. Robertson and his green gang aim to eliminate fossil fuel use, come hell or high water, by the year 2050, mandating 100% renewable energy for everything from cooking to transportation. Now, I'm on record as being a big defender of natural gas. And why not? It's clean, affordable, reliable, plus we have plenty of it here in BC. Yet, environmental zealots running the city of Vancouver want to ban it. As the Globe and Mail reported last week, furnaces, fireplaces, hot water heaters and cooktops that use natural gas will become a thing of the past. As of May 1st, 2017, all buildings and developments requiring rezoning would have to comply with the new standards mandated in the Renewable City Strategy. City officials insist there is no ban on natural gas and that any interpretation of its policy is simply fake news. I'm sure the Globe and Mail takes exception to that. The truth, though, is simple. The rules are convoluted, the standards are unclear, and alternatives such as renewable natural gas, which is derived from landfills and composting sites, is simply economically unfeasible. The only certainty regarding Mayor Robertson's radical plan is that it will make life less affordable for people living in Vancouver. And you can bet, if given the chance, the NDP or the Greens would impose a similar policy, making life less affordable for everyone in BC. If elected, the BC Liberals have promised to stop Vancouver's unaffordable energy plan, ensuring natural gas remains an energy option for residents, restaurants and businesses in Vancouver. I believe the BC Liberals are demonstrating foresight and maturity with this commitment, and the province simply can't afford to take a chance on radical renewable energy schemes from the left. For Polly Buzz, I'm Brent Stafford.